and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the best budget beast in Madden 20. I'm going over my top 10 list that I got. And, guys, this wasn't the easiest list to make. See, this was easier to make two months ago when, like, budget beasts were just so obvious who was who. But with the broad amount of play, like, the, the abundance of players that have been being released last few months with all the new promos, there's so many budget beasts, guys. So, expect, honestly, this, this is my best advice to tell you guys. Every budget beast list you check out, are going to most likely be a little bit different so you could always check out more than a few videos of budget beast and just combine all the ones you like together because i'm telling you there's only so many you could fit in a list of 10 but i did my best uh, guys i said in the last video for all you guys wondering where the uh, the pood miss giveaway winners are i'm backed up three days with sh christmas shopping christmas stuff school finals everything it was a busy week but i'm going to be announcing all of them in today's 10 30 video or on the community tab more than likely the 10 30 videos so make sure to show up to that i will be doing it today sunday so they're actually releasing the ltd today so stay tuned for that and that's about it guys so to enter the giveaway today all you gotta do is like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below the secret word and and uh comment your comments so once you do all those things you're entered to win now let's get to this list now this list like i said was not easy to make it took me quite a while because it's not that hard it's not that easy to find budget beasts in a mixture of like thousands of players that oversaturate the market now the first guy that i put at number 10 is a guy that i feel like because with the way this madden plays you need a pass rusher you, ju you just need one there's no way around that and on a budget team getting good pressure could go a long way so this 88 reggie white right here he goes for let's see what's the cheapest price he goes for 37k solid price 71 speed 79 excel his, his seller is is, is a set oh my god his athleticism is not that great he's got 85 strength though 87 tackle 89 play rec 87 block shit 89 power move 80 finesse move all that matters in this game is thresholds if you put pass rush on him and you max it out he's gonna have the 90 power move threshold he could even get the any of you if you to let's say you even powered him up up there just naturally powered up if you were to power up a regular card and get him to like the 89 instead of getting his 88 that worked too but for the 88 you put some cams on him he will get the pass rush threshold which is really cool because he's gonna be one of the better pass rushers for a budget team now in my opinion I think you have to always get a pass rusher, especially on a budget team, because if you don't have a pass rusher, you're going to be quite behind when it comes to playing people, especially when you play better teams than you. If you play better teams than you, they already have a better line, so they're already going to have a lot of time in the pocket. They already have a good, team's too good. You can't give them time in the pocket. The more time in the pocket you give them, the more you're going to be screwed. I have Marcus Williams here, 40K. You need a free safety. 87 speed, 88 excel, great athleticism, 91 play rec, 85 pursuit, 81 hit power. So he's going to be a guy that you can use her because he's six foot one. He's good he's sp uh, speed and decent hit power. His zone and man aren't great, but you're not going to get a guy with good zone and man and not and, and good speed and good hit power and good player. It's not going to happen. So I think you probably with the way the run game is this year and stuff, and they're not really passing too much this year. You're probably more worried about getting that hit power, trying to force fumbles because you're on budget team. You're going to need turnovers, right? A budget team is going to be really hard to go head to head with another guy's squad. You're going to need to make, you're going to need to do quick hitters, get turnovers. You're going to need speed, force turnovers and, and hit fast. So they can quit. Or at least frustrate them because if you're on a budget team if you get if you get if you, you can't get a safe budget team you can't get a team where like okay i'm gonna have good zone slow slow speed i'm gonna have all savvy veterans it's not gonna work that way you go against people guys below 87 speed at this point in the game even with 87 i'm going to destroy you with tyree kill any of my other guys next is the guy that i never thought would be on a budget beast list but he made it and that is aaron donald for 55k that is a budget beast 74 speed 81 excel i thought it says my right end is decent right there 89 shrek amazing 81 tackle great 88 play rack, amazing. 86 block should great. 88 power move, 85 finesse move. You put any kind of if you power the if you power this Aaron Donald up, he will get all the pass uh, rushing thresholds as well as coming close to the play rack threshold and block shot threshold. He's gonna be amazing, and he's a budget beast at this point in the game. So I recommend you get him. Now this next guy again, this guy's purely because of speed. As a budget team, you always gotta be you always gotta be you gotta keep up with speed because otherwise. You can't even if you play a game where you're down by five speed points around the board like my team's all 94 speeds and you're all 86s it's over the game's over every every play i run is going to i'm going to outrun you the only thing that'll stop me from beating you even if i throw you picks it won't even help so next is montez sweat 52k for this 88 overall one guys he's got 89 speed 91 excel right outside linebacker with 87 tackle 84 play right 83 finesse now with chems he will have at least a block shit threshold with decent finesse move now he's gonna get decent pass rush but again you could user him because he does have 89 speed. You're able to put him in you're able to put him in the zone if you want. You could use him. He could be a great user linebacker for you with that speed. As well as just pass rushing. He will give he'll get to the quarterback quickly. So when he does get there, he should get there pretty quickly. I think Montez Sweat is an awesome, awesome, awesome card, in my personal opinion. Next 
So this wide receiver is not going to be the fastest wide receiver, but you guys, oh, you need you need a red zone threat. You need a number one. You need a big target in the end zone. So right here, this Corlin Sutton for 40K seems like a solid buy. 88 over a wide receiver. He's six foot three, 87 speed, 87 jumping, 83 catching, 88 catching traffic, 91 spec catch, 81 short route running, 80 medium route running, and 75 deep route running. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a speed receiver. Don't worry, but for the time being, you definitely need a wide receiver that could be a number one, like the outside guy. You need that guy who's tall. You can bomb it to you can throw in the red zone you can throw those high point slants you need, you need a tall guy because you can't have all speedy wide receivers trust me it doesn't work eventually you're gonna need you're gonna need that big guy who can make those contested catches for you and he has a great spec a great catch of traffic great and decent speed honestly for a quarter sudden his route running could be a little bit better but this is a budget team so again that's the one thing you guys have to understand with budget teams you're not gonna be able to get like randy moss you're not gonna get those all around the stats you gotta pick what stats you want to what stats you want to like just punt what stats you don't care about and that's kind of the thing so when you go for speed sometimes you sacrifice other stats and this guy's a budget beast he's a little more expensive than the other ones but but trust me when it comes to when it comes to steve young he's one of the best quarterbacks in the game still to this moment and you're getting him for a great price He's currently 84k you can probably snap him for even cheaper as a zero trip formal keeps progressing now the beauty of steve young here it doesn't even matter what his comparisons are to other quarterbacks so actually screw that powered up if you can power him up he gets escape artist all right so now he, he gets escape artist on a budget team that's huge oh, escape artist with go deep he's gonna have above 90 throw power so you can have the throw power threshold powered up he's gonna have the throw short threshold above 90 the throw mid uh, accuracy above 90 with go deep and powered up he's gonna have go deep above 90 throw deep above 90 throw under pressure above 90 throw on the runner above 90 all of his pass stats are gonna be above 90 with escape artist and he gets dashing dead eye which means you can throw on the run perfect pass accuracy which is one of the glitchiest abilities in madden guys on a budget team you have to have steve young as your quarterback the only guy who compares to him is patrick mahomes but that's too expensive so i recommend you stay with steve young it is not bad at all your word for today's video is d Dion. comment down below dion like the video subscribe to the channel and comment down below your content what you do all those things you're interested in good luck all right so the next two guys on this list are both speedy speedy wide receivers so coming at number four as one of the speedy wide receivers is going to be redux john ross or even the regular one doesn't really matter whichever you find the better price for now catching stats may not be great but 94 speed goes a long way on a budget team now there's a guy who i think might be even better than him he's gonna be next on the list but 94 speed you, you can't discount that in a budget team you're gonna need that with 90 agility which is huge because sometimes when you get a guy with above 94 speed like that, like that fast, they have bad agility or bad acceleration. Something that like when you play with them, it's like, wow, this guy doesn't feel like as crazy as you think. 92 excel is really good. 81 catching is decent. Now let's see what else he's got. He's got 89 kicker turn, 85 jumping, 86 elusiveness. Really 94 juke move. Now that's important again because remember, there's guys that you'll get with the 95 speed, but they can't juke, they can't spin, they have no agility. So they're just kind of straight line like track runners, which doesn't really help you imagine them. Because to get into the open space one-on-one -on -one like that, where you can just burn someone down the field, they're going to have to get there, which means getting past the, the front seven, getting past secondary. So it's good that he has the juke move. That's really good. And Sean Ross is pretty cool, in my opinion. Next on the list is a guy that's another speedy wide receiver who actually costs a little bit more, but I think he's definitely better. And that's going to be a guy from the same exact promo from the same exact time. And that's going to be Hollywood Marquise Brown Redux card right here. 57K, we're still really, really cheap. He's got 95 speed, though. 83 jumping, 81 spec catch, 80 short out running. Now, obviously, the catching is not great, but this isn't the guy you're not using him as a wide receiver. You're using, you're using him as a space guy. You're gonna get him on a slant. You're gonna get him on a on a streak. Maybe he has 83 deep route running. If they, they press you, maybe you can get him on a streak. Maybe you can just burn the defense. You can use him as a kicker turner. You can use him for a lot of things that isn't necessarily running posts, uh, crossers, flags, and out routes. You can just you can do cool little short routes. And just drag him, get him open in the flats, turn up field, use your speed. Now, he does come with 94 agility and 93 excel. So, he's already better than Ross and everything. He's better at agile, better at speed, better at excel. And then, let's see what his other stats are. So, he's got 82 kick returning. So, here's the thing. His juke and spin isn't nearly as good. So, would you rather have slightly more excel, agility, and speed? Or would you rather have way better juke, spin, and everything else? Now, it's up to you guys. Marquise Brown is more of the straight line guy. John Ross is more of the side-to-side -side guy. So, it's up to you on how you, how you view that. I think Marquise Brown is a slightly better wide receiver, but not by much so that's really up to you guys that's why i put both of them on the list so you guys can have your your, your choice there because i don't want to force you guys to go either route whoever you like more maybe you're a raven steam team and then marquise brown's a way better than he says there next is matt Breida, guys i've been playing this matt Breida online like with my god squad and he gives me the work sometimes i'm not gonna lie this matt Breida is a really 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 awesome i'm being honest with you guys 92 speed 90 acceleration that's all you gotta know he has great speed tests, and I'm—I'll be honest. Can you guys put evasive on him? 
even though he can't be powered up, because I promise you I've seen people have evasive map Rita on there. I'm pretty sure. He's a 92 speed, 90 excel, 87 agility, 86 carrying, 62 catching, 80 looseness, 71 trucking, and 78 break tackle. He's a speed back. That's all you gotta worry about. He's a speedy back that will be able to have, his speed will show against anyone you play, because he's that fast. His juke moves almost out of 90, so if they're right, Kems will get it. You guys know what I'm saying? Like, if you put, like, Aaron Jones 85 speed against the God Squad, you're gonna, he's gonna visibly be slower. He's gonna be outmatched, never gonna be able to do anything. Bat Breed is fast enough, so even though he won't break tackles, and he, he might fumble a little bit, he's going to be so fast that he can break big plays on a God Squad, which is kind of what you need at a budget team. You need players who, no matter what position they're at, they can compete because of their speed. Now, coming at number one. Now, not necessarily he's the best one, but this is the most, this is the one that I think will give you the best advantage at any certain position. He would be the best advantage against other people's teams no matter what, just because of his position. That's Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill, 73K. 91 overall tight end out of position card. This Taysom Hill is a 90 speed, guys. The thing about him, right, so Matt Breed is going to go up against stacked linebackers and linemen. He's going to have a harder time. Marquise Brown, Ross is going to go up against like Knight, Train Lane, Deion Sanders, Willie Brown, all the guys. He's going to have a tougher time. He's still going to go up against linebackers. Outside linebackers, potentially corner or third cornerbacks. Now here's the thing with him. 90 speed is deadly. I'm telling you. I have Tony Gonzalez, right? Tony Gonzalez fully powered up, only has and with the shaker and everything has an 89 speed. He's still slower, so Taysom Hill is gonna be faster. And let's see what the Excel is. The Excel is an 88, so that's similar. Taysom Hill is gonna be the faster option of the two. And I'm telling you, Tony Gonzalez makes plays. When they like if you do like a flag route with them like that, right when they make the cut, the linebackers have to like they like stumble because his route running is so good. And because he's faster and when he makes cuts he's gonna be able to catch him and his route running is decent not the best but he's good catching and 90 speed you can throw seams to him right off the tight end slot streak him throw a seam right up a cover two throw a short seam to him and he is fast enough to burn everyone after that he's gonna be a really big he's gonna be a big a big threat in my opinion on a theme team now let's see if he comes with any juking or spinning that we should be worried about he has a 91 juke move 87 spin guys so for a tight end it's pretty nasty. I'm not going to lie. This is one of the best tight ends in the game, in my opinion. Advantage-wise. Now, I don't think he's the best package. Like, he's not like, he's not, he can't run block for you. He's not the best route runner, but he's the best overall well-rounded package we can catch. Kind of run like a, you can juke like a running back. He has the speed, and he might even have some throwing stats. Let's see. Yeah, he has throw on the run. He has some decent throwing stats, too, which isn't horrible. And 86 break tackle. He's going to be a pretty beastly tight end, in my opinion. Now, guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. It is all tight but I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this helps you guys for all your budget squad needs. I did have another video of these that actually did really well last time I posted it, but I imagine at this point that video is very outdated, so I'm gonna start I'm gonna make a new one to update you guys on the newest budget beast in Madden 20 right now. So hopefully this helps you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to see 25 days of poop. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your console, and the secret word here that the video wants you to all those things you're to win. Good luck, see you guys in the next video. Peace.